Good evening, good night. I want to say hello to everybody. And this is a pleasure for me to share with you tonight and to share with you some of our thoughts have, that have to do with the struggle that Gongping has now currently, but also the context of what is happening in Honduras right now and the role of people in solidarity. Well, Berta Casares, who was the coordinator of Coping, um, a great leader in the struggle of the Linka people and also of the social movements of Honduras. And, well, because of her leadership, because of her defense of the territories, she was assassinated on March 2nd of 2016. So our struggle for justice doesn't just have to do with that, which is known by the population, uh, the, uh, her murder, but also why she was murdered, but also it has to do with the violation, the systematic violation of the uh, indigenous uh, people. And it also has to do with the violation of the uh, community's uh, rights. We are having this struggle, uh, and we want to guarantee the respect and the integrity of the Lenka people. And up to this point, this is our struggle for justice, which has been symbolic, and the cause of Berta Cáceres and all who have accompanied this, but also who um, represents a lot of large spaces for justice. And, well, just to tell you, the campaign has stated their position about this new government, which is specifically different from the governments that uh, after the coup d'etat, that uh, were authoritarian regimes, uh, governments that, this is the government that has a uh, very close to the organizations and the uh, social movements, and so, I'd like to comment that for us, it it means hope for a change, for a transformation in which we don't want to forget that there are large challenges um, after 12 years of violent, corrupt governments that have turned over a large part of the indigenous and black territories, they're not going to go away easily. So very uh, a short time ago, we were talking about um, the struggle of Berta Cas, that is uh, law in this new context, because the law of Berta Cas, that is, was one of the most important laws for the case of my mother, Berta Cas, that is, um, it will not get justice, but what has achieved justice has had to do a lot. Part of the pressure the, so that these uh, crimes would not be uh, left in, in impunity. I would say one of the things that right now is happening in the uh, Honduras at the, we are at the beginning of a transformation of the country, and it is also the construction of, cons of justice and stopping impunity for us, the military and the army, the state um, enforcement. They have been in con contrary to the people. They've been repressive. They have been guaranteeing the violation of the rights of the groups, and they are guaranteeing uh, economic groups uh, of this country. And we hope to find justice for that sector. Specifically in Honduras, there is a state security group that has been operating outside of the army with the knowledge of the army and have been part of the violation and the murder of 
social leaders in our country. And unfortunately, this is not the only case in Honduras. We, there are more uh, significant uh, murders have been in the Pahawan zone. I think that a lot of our analysis, we should say we are convinced that there is another model for development based on the respect for the com indigenous communities, the respect for previous consultations, uh, free, uh, informing us, and we are uh, want to protect those communities that have been less protected. Uh, we do need to have them pay attention to us, but this attention also needs to, uh, we need to have the autonomy of the, uh, autonomy of the people. Um, and we can't have the violation of the rights or our territory. We as Kemping have seen in the framework of the COVID uh, pandemic, of the um, tragedies, environmental tragedies we've had here in Honduras, the development of the indigenous communities, part of the of rights of the uh, to these territories. This is a problem, not just in the Lenca um, populations, but also of all the communities, indigenous communities uh, and the campesinos, because they have not been recognized part of the state, the historic right of the lands, and this creates a, a big problem. The other thing is that we have, we guarantee our lives through the earth. Uh, we uh, eat from them, and right now that we have an economic crisis, There is no guarantee for food, and we need to guarantee our own food. We are the uh, people who create most uh, food for Honduras. We need the water, we need the earth. And without guarantee, we need guarantees for health, for education. And we feel that it, it doesn't make sense for companies to come in and try to take away that responsibility that it is the state of Honduras and the violations of human rights. There's a lot of examples of these violations where the there is co cooperation with the government, but there has not been invasions of the territories or the repeal of the rights of the communities. And it also has to do with the concept of development. And so I think that there's a lot in Latin America and the global south. You can find examples of how a sustainable development can happen uh, while guaranteeing the rights and the environment. A few days ago, we had the sixth anniversary of what we have called the um, planting of our compañera, Bertha Cáceres, and the, the anniversary of her assassination. We think with this new alignment of government, it is the possibility that the concession may be removed um, from the corporation. There was recently a, a commemoration of the assassination, but that is not enough because as long as the concession of this um, dam then it's insulting the name of our compañera Bertha Castellas because that's one of the reasons why she was assassinated. So that's why we think it's important that we should have a, a vote and to show uh, the res those responsible and to have um, the process of justice. We're also very worried 
about the um, idea of taking the lands of Rio Blanco and individualizing them because this is something that we have been talking to the state of Honduras that we need them to guarantee that that position on the earth of for the communities of Rio Blanco uh, be recognized and we want to demonstrate to have uh, uh, commitment and that it's these um, higher ups of corporations that have been trying to um, get the concessions of these territories and this has they have been uh, taking over Honduras land for their own benefit so basically this is uh, what we are hoping for the government of Xiomara she has showed us good words and a good will and we hope that that commitment becomes uh, concrete actions and that we as a uh, people as um, can uh, continue going forward so that these demands can become reality and as I was saying I think it's fundamental the job of the international solidarity that might be able to develop uh, showing their interest in that these things be these challenges be uh, completed and for you as for us that we have this new government that may help us to get these um, commitments for justice of the people and for there be no more impunity and for there to be justice for all of the um, justice for all of the crimes that have been committed, including the assassination of uh, Compañera Berta Castellis. And we would like to have a new consideration for our project, uh, new projects for our uh, Honduras, for democracy, for participation. So now thank you very much for uh, inviting me to express my thoughts on this.